everybody. Good morning. Welcome back to our channel. Uh, today is going to be a start of a fun series for us. Uh -huh. Today we're actually going to Cancun, Mexico. Yes. It's our first like real trip since COVID, so we're super pumped about it. It's going to be good. Mm -hmm. um, one of the things that we just want to preface this, we're going to be safe. Um, we're vaccinated. Um, wear a mask all the time. But also, this is not going to be like our usual... We did a lot of research before we, we left this time. And most of the vlogs you see out there are younger, uh, partier type vlogs. And this is going to be that vlog. So you guys are going to be watching us from a different point of view. Because we always kind of avoid Cancun. Just because we hear it's always a party place. It's not a place for families. It's not a place for just couples who want to get away. It's more of like a binge drink kind of, kind of place. So we chose a resort specifically that we thought would be family friendly, couple friendly. Um, we're not, we purposefully did not choose party atmosphere. So we wanted you guys to see a different side of Cancun and because we're not partiers. <laughs> so, so we wanted to show you kind of, we wanted to show it to you in a different light. Yes, so we've always avoided Cancun just because it's, it's such a bad rap. So we're gonna go, uh, hopefully it's gonna be a surprise us and, and impress us because I think mm -hmm. there's a lot of things we can do, especially at this resort we're going to. We found an epic place to stay that has some crazy good reviews. So we're really excited to show it to you guys. So we'll be looking out for that, but here we go. First trip in a while. So we're flying Spirit. Um, we love Southwest, but the flights were a lot more expensive with Southwest, but Spirit tends to nickel and dime you. <laughs> Well, they changed their weight policy with their bags to 40 pounds instead of 50 pounds. So be aware of that next time you fly. So we're not super pleased, but we are hoping it's going to be a good experience. I'm trying not to be too like negative because they're behind me, but just be aware that next time you fly, you lose 10 pounds or they charge you 30 bucks. So it's always kind of like uh, nervousness when you're watching people come in and see if you're sitting next to you, if you're a bigger person. Um, and it's not a lot of room as you can see, but uh, what's even great for Spirit is that seats don't recline, so you don't have to worry about someone being in your lap in front of you, because they already are. Alright y'all, we made it. We are in Cancun. We're waiting on our bags. You know that point where you're always praying that nobody lost your stuff? That's what we're doing. Well, it's a non-stop flight, so how yeah. do you screw it up, right? How do you screw it up? So anyway, waiting for our bags and then thankfully the hotel coordinated with us for a pickup. So transportation should be super easy. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Wow, how about that? Not mad at that. Thank you. How about this, huh? Mm -hmm. First class for transportation. They have cleaned everything before we, before we even got in, which is cool. And then bottles of water. You can't beat that. anymore. 
No. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> Whoa, how about this? Nice. Yeah, buddy. Nice Immediately go outside. <laughs> yeah, this isn't bad. No, this isn't bad. Okay, okay. Oh yes, that's great. Thank oh, you. Perfect. I gotta put your stuff right there. Oh, okay. Thank you. Can you move this one? I oh yeah, yeah. Thanks. You must have that. That must be yours. <laughs> wow. Yeah. <laughs> you all know that episode of Friends when they go to Jamaica for Ross's conference. My hair is doing what Monica's hair did. If you get the reference, we're best friends. So we <laughs> we are officially here and checked in, ready to go. We're about to go head down for some lunch. What time is it right now, Jimmy? It is almost two. I mean, look at this. You can't really see the view. He's kind of whitewashed, but two fifty one fifty three. Is that right? Mm hmm. So we're gonna go ahead and get some lunch. They also gave us this nice like pamphlet that has all the dinner options on it. So it's all inclusive, so it's all included, but we need to make reservations for dinner. You don't for breakfast and lunch, but you do for dinner. So we're gonna head and do that. Also, room service is included 24 hours. It is. Uh, uneventful, pretty much going to Cancun, uh, for, as far as the flight goes, it's pretty manic once you get out of the controlled area at the airport. Just like any any airport, really, <laughs> anymore, it seems like. Um, but they try to hassle you, get you a taxi, all that good stuff, or a timeshare. Pass the timeshares. Um, if I can tell you anything else, just pass all those guys and go out and get, get an actual taxi. If you need a taxi or Uber, that always works too. Um, they got us a nice SUV ride uh, here to the here to the resort. Check in was pretty nice. Everyone's just super friendly. I think Mandy already said that, um, but they're really water friendly here, which is really nice. And the guy told us uh, the um, bellman told us all about what to do here today and where to go eat and all that good stuff. But um, we did a room tour. Did a room check tour. So check, the, check out the room tour uh, if you didn't already. I'm not sure when we're putting that before or after, but it's separate, obviously. I, I've waited a year to kick Jimmy out of a hotel room. <laughs> it was been, epically fun. Yes. So we had a, we had a problem and we checked things. We actually got a travel agent rate for this resort. They have a really cool um, deal right now for, for all of us, which is which is really nice. Um, but we don't have an ID, like a photo ID of us being travel agents. We used to. Mana had one, but we got to expire because. No one's booking travel for COVID, right? So that's the problem we had um, checking in. But once we got it all figured out, we're good. Um, we got up here, lovely view. I can't believe this is like the regular view that we get. Uh, just, I mean, if you guys can see, you know, I can't really see it out there, but man, we'll with do the a water blue. Shot and show you. So long winded, we're gonna go get something to eat. We're hungry. <laughs> I suggest you make your reservations when you get here because they're already super full. So we made well, it's all relative because it's of, all relative because of COVID, because yeah, you know, numbers. Cause they're only operating at sixty percent. So I went ahead and made three reservations, but we have extra days, so we can move around or do a second one if we really like it. So do this first when you get here. Let's take this off outside. Yeah, I think so. That is our the pool party. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Me if I Really great choices. I'm excited about lunch. It sounds really delicious. So we'll see. They have all kinds of ceviche. Lots of, they have ceviche. They have whole they have fish. Whole fish. But they also have meat stuff. I mean, they have like steak and land animals too. I'm a little overwhelmed about what to get to drink because you can literally have whatever you want. That's overwhelming. But I'm sure I'll get over it soon. Got our drinks. Got a strawberry margarita. Hope you can hear us. So sorry if the weather is bad. We're not. We haven't tested this new microphone out. So. But they brought us pico and chips. I got ceviche, which is just magnificent. So good. Jimmy got shrimp cocktail. I'm already, we're both already eating it because we're actually starving. Starving. We've been having since, what, 7 o'clock this morning? And this is a muffin. Yeah. <laughs> Let me just say, when they say the sauce is hot, yeah, I thought just saying okay for, for gringos, but no, it's, yeah, that it was spicy. Spicy. But the serving tortilla chips, and then they have it, saltines with it. I thought it was kind of interesting. Mm -hmm. But some pico. It's all Oh, so really? Good. Yeah. I got a whole fish. And I got garlic mojo sauce to put all in the top of it. And I fried. With some rice and salad. And then I got some chips. And I got some fried chips. Looks delicious. I'm excited. And another margarita. I got the Baja tacos. Uh, I think it's a fresh catch, fresh catch of the day, and they, they, they breaded it. So it's kind of cool. I, I, I dig it. Supposedly it's a hot appetizer, but I, this is kind of an entree, really. I mean, but that that is pretty amazing, honestly. I'm very excited. All right, y'all. So I'm not gonna lie, I took a nap. We came back. We came back into the room from eating, and she died. I died because we got up at 4:30 this morning. I was tired. Don't judge my life. So we have a beautiful sunset going on back here. Can't really see it. Well, kind of. But now we are headed downstairs to dinner. One thing that they suggest at this resort is for dinner, you basically do room service or like their a la carte place kind of down by the beach because all of the restaurants already have reservations done because of COVID regulations. They're operating at fewer staff and fewer capacity. So we're going to mask up and head downstairs to the same restaurant we had lunch at, but a different dinner menu. So, let's see. Particular restaurant, you need to have your phone because you need to QR code for the menu and you gotta check the temperature. Just like that. And you scan menu right there. I don't know if y'all could hear me before with my mask on, but when you come in, they take your room number, check your temperature, you can do it by your wrist, as well as they have you scan the QR code for the dinner menu. Um, some people in front of us were being kind of rude to the um, hostess staff, which is not nice, but everybody has been incredibly kind, the staff at the restaurant, so we're really excited to eat here for dinner and you definitely can't beat this view.
All right, we take our order. We're kind of taking a leisurely night. They're busy back behind us, so we're just kind of waiting. But we got some drinks. Amanda, over to Instagram. Got a white Russian like like the dude, Big Lebowski. We got a mojito. So I got salmon tartare. Look how fancy I am. Very excited. Jimmy got tacos. I got some. Uh, it's from uh, Sinaloa, uh, Sinaloa State, and I'm not really sure. It's shrimp, yeah. some uh, grilled onions, jalapenos. Oh yeah. Now you can see. Cheese. All that good stuff right here. Yeah, that's now you can good. see the salmon tartare. Okay. So I came to Mexico and ordered steak just because it sounded too good. Chimichurri so sauce though. Chimichurri on New York steak with garlic mashed potatoes. And I got the filet mignon. Wrapped in bacon. Uh-huh. And then some fancy, basically, yeah, potato wedges. We'll try to do better next time because, well, one, it's dark, and so you can't see anything, so I can't let you know how the food was. It was really good. It was really good. We finished all of it. But um, this is the dessert tray. I so, wanted a dessert tray. I'm not sure what this is, but I don't really care. It looks delicious. Yeah. Bunt cake, it can eclair. Eclair. Putting something in like a turnover, pop over, yeah. whatever, whatever that thing is over there. Yum. Mm -hmm. I think we're going to head down and maybe walk on the beach a little bit. Walk off dinner. It was delicious, by the way. But I love the beach at night.